Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about how to use a drop down in Unreal Engine 5. If you guys are interested in the ins and outs of the engine, I do have a Udemy course up as well, which I will be continuously updating as well in the future. So make sure you guys do check it out if interested. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, link to my Discord is in the description as well. So creating a drop down is quite simple, really. You can just head into any widget. I've just created a blank one and I put a canvas panel here. So we have a working space. Then what you can do is you can search for combo box and you can drag this in. Now at first you're not going to have any options. Now first of all we have to create the widget. So head into your level blueprint, head into begin play and you can go ahead and create a widget and you can add it to the viewport and this is going to be our drop down widget. So of course you can name it however you like. So if I go ahead and press play we'll get our drop down. Now in order to add options, so we'll go over how to add options uh, beforehand as well as how to add options dynamically. Both are possible. So first of all, uh, under here for the default options, you can go ahead and add few items. So let's say we want to choose between few fruits. So let's say you have apple, you have a mango, you have grapes, and let's say you want to select apple. So that will be the default option basically. Now, if I compile this, you'll see that Apple is going to be selected and I will be able to change it. Now, this is basically just doing string matching. So it's going to match the string Apple with Apple and it's going to get that. Now, uh, let's say you wanted to add an option dynamically. You can do that as well. Uh, first of all, let's actually handle uh, what should happen when we actually change an option. So you can run whatever logic you want. First of all, make it is variable and on selection changed is the event you're looking for so basically this is going to get called every time you change the value in the combo box so you have the item as well as selection type now uh, we can just go ahead and print it for now but of course you can do whatever logic you want maybe you want to set some variable you want to you know create another widget you want to change the level whatever you want you could do with it so now if i go ahead and change it you see, we are getting the option which we selected. So I should have uh, done set show mouse cursor. That's the reason it's not showing the mouse cursor. Nonetheless, you can do that. Now, there is also an index to the option if you observe. You have index 0, index 1, index 2 because this is an array. You can also access the index of the option chosen. So if you grab a reference to the combo box, I'm control dragging it here. And if I go ahead and type in get index, so you can drag in the get selected index node. And if you go ahead and uh, run this into the print string, now you'd see that anytime I select, you get the index. So it's zero index. So obviously the second option is index one. So when I select grapes, it comes as index two. As simple as that. Now, uh, another thing which I would like to show is adding options dynamically. So that is pretty straightforward as well. All you have to do is, uh, let's say we do it on event construct. You can do it on any event. Uh, you can drag the reference to the combo box. Type in, just type in option. You're going to find the add option uh, function here. If you just type in, uh, let's say for example, we don't have a banana, so we can add a banana. Now, if I were to go ahead and press play, as you see, we get banana as well. Now, how do, you, how do I know it's adding dynamically? Just to showcase that, I can go ahead and put in a delay. So let's say I put in a delay of uh, 5 seconds. Now, if I go ahead and press play, now I don't have banana. Now, if I wait for a couple of seconds, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you see, I have banana. So that's adding it dynamically. There's also a function to remove an option as well. So you can type in remove option. Now, if you don't want the string and you want the index, what you can do is you can just get the combo box and then you can say option by index. Uh, if you type in option index, you'll get it. So get option at index. So now you can go ahead and just delete whatever index you want. That is possible as well. As per uh, the styling aspect of the combo box, it's really simple. So all you have to do is you'll have to change the style aspect of this. So you have the item style, you have all the possible brushes. 
Now for example, I'm going to go ahead and change the text color. So I can change that to something else. So if I hit OK, now this is going to change the text color of uh, what's in. So if I compile it, I can actually not see any difference. That's because it's probably the foreground color that we are supposed to change. So if I search for that, so if I search for foreground color, so now if I were to go ahead and change this to something like red, and if I actually go ahead and press play, see that you still see nothing. So that's because this is the foreground that we are supposed to change. So now, as you see, if I change this to red, it's going to go ahead and come. Basically, the point is all the uh, styling options are available on the details panel. So that's it for this video, I guess, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys did learn something new, make sure you guys do leave a sub. Also, as I told you guys previously, links down in the video description below is a link to my Discord server as well as my Patreon page if you guys do wish to support me. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.